What is up, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a getting ready with me video. So I don't know whether you guys want to play this video while you're getting ready so that we're legit getting ready together or if you guys just want to watch me do my thing, whatever it is, get ready for this video. We're going to be doing this look. Disclaimer, I am not a beauty guru, but this is just my everyday makeup look. So if y'all want to see how I do this, stay tuned. And also I'm going to answer some really good questions that you guys asked on my Instagram. So Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, let's get into getting ready, doing my makeup, all that jazz, and answering your guys' questions. I have the questions fresh. I have literally not read any of them, so I don't even know what y'all ask, but y'all ask me tons of questions. And I have my makeup here. So, I have a mirror right here, so if I keep like looking this way, it's because I have a mirror. Obviously, I need a mirror to like get ready. But yeah, let's just hop into it. I'm excited. I love these kind of videos because I love watching other people's while I'm getting ready, like that's why it's like legit called a get ready with me. I love watching them while I'm getting ready. So like, if y'all don't even wanna watch me, totally fine. You can just listen to the questions. That's kind of what I do when people do get ready with me. I like have them playing in front of me. Like sometimes I don't even watch. I just like get ready while I'm listening to them answering questions. Anyways, let's just let's just get into it. I'm excited. Let's do your makeup and let's answer some questions. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my makeup just so that we can get a roll because I don't wanna get super distracted this whole video and not know what I'm doing. The very first thing that I do is I use this priming slash setting spray. I think you can use it as both, right? Yeah, it primes and sets for up to 16 hours. So I think you can use it before. Disclaimer, I'm not a beauty guru like at all. So I'm just gonna show y'all what I use. This is something that I got for Christmas. It is from, oh, this is Charlotte, Charlotte Til Tilbury. Don't really know. Anyways, I just spray that on my face. Let it, it's like almost gone as you can see but I spray out my face and just kind of rub it in so that it sets a really good and clean base for my foundation and my foundation y'all is nothing fancy so like the next thing I do is foundation and I just use this by Maybelline I believe is the brand right yeah the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. It is matte and poreless. I love matte because my skin's not oily, but it's not dry. So like my face works the best with matte because it's like in that in between. Sage, this is in the shade 124. It's honestly probably gonna be a little bit too dark for me, but we're just gonna go with it because it's the only one that I have. All right, so while I do my foundation, I will answer the first question. Do you have a favorite TV show right now? That's actually so interesting because I do. So Psyche and I have just started, I usually just put it on my hand like this. But anyways, Psyche and I have just started this new show, which y'all have probably already seen it before, called Survivor. <laughs> We did, like, had never seen it before. We're watching actually Australian Survivor and it's so good. It's like basically, if you guys don't know what it is, it's basically this group of people are put like into the wilderness for, I think it's, the one that we're watching is for 55 days. And every like couple days, someone's eliminated and then like there's a sole survivor who wins. And for the Australian one, they win $500,000. So they win half a million dollars. And it's been really cool. Like I literally could never go on Survivor ever. I would be so bad, like, so bad. You guys could probably agree with me that I'd be terrible at that. But I think it's really interesting watching other people go on there because I just, I could never do it. Anyways, yeah, we've been watching Survivor. We haven't really been watching much TV shows, to be honest. And I don't want this to sound like, oh, like super spiritual, but lately what we've been doing is every single night we'll watch usually like a show while we're eating dinner. So like lately we've been watching survival while we eat dinner and then after dinner we will watch a sermon or something and just like read the bible together and um, get into the word together because i've been really convicted lately about spending more time in the bible than i am like watching tv and stuff if y'all watched my video about should christians watch secular movies and music and stuff i will leave that in the description box so you can see what i'm talking about a little bit but that talks a little bit about my whole view on that stuff right now Anyways, so what I do right now is I just use a beauty blender and then I'll, of course, blend it into my neck. Obviously, like I said earlier, this is not my color. Honestly, this color looks a lot worse on camera than it does in person, but it looks a lot more orange on camera. But basically, I will just go in and I will blend it with this side of the beauty blender. Like, I love the flat side the most. I want to make sure I blend it in the top, too, into my forehead. I usually just do a generally light 
layer of foundation just because I don't struggle too bad with acne or anything. I think I have like one pimple right here right now. If anything, I have moles. I have tons of moles. This is a fun fact about myself is I have so many moles like on this arm specifically i have so many moles it's kind of crazy but yeah so now i'm just gonna blend the rest of this in with a beauty blender and that'll be it for foundation okay so now that the foundation is done i kind of got a little red right here but that's just from hitting it. it's not from actual makeup but now i'm gonna go in with this big i don't know fluffy powder brush and do uh not contour but do bronzer because this is like my favorite part is it's when you can kind of shape your face a little bit and just make it a little bit more bronzy so the bronzer i'm using is the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer this is the one i have used for years and years and years and it is my favorite i have not found one i like more and i think i don't think there's a shade is there no it's just Too faced chocolate soleil so i will use this with my big fluffy brush as you can see, it's kind of hit pan a little bit. And then I will just go along my cheekbones. I am, like I said, not a beauty guru, but I'll just go on my cheekbones and then down on my jawline just to make it a little bit more bronzed up and glowy. Okay, and the next question says, what would you say your fashion style is? Oh, gosh. Pfft. Honestly, nothing. I don't have very great style at all for like decorating and stuff i love boho like natural minimalistic like bright colors warm colors i don't know i love like the boho look for like decor and stuff but as for like my own style to be honest it's probably just like comfortable <laughs> like i love to be comfortable i hate being uncomfortable like i feel like my whole day is just thrown off when i am not comfortable so i like to be cozy i love sweaters i just love anything like Cozy. I think I just describe my my style and my decor honestly as just cozy. I love the whole coziness vibe and everything. Hopefully that makes sense. But I don't know. Leave a comment down below what you say my style is because I don't. I honestly don't even know. The next question that I'll answer says how to be intentional in your single season. What is your what is your advice? I would honestly say like for me, my singleness season was very much like honestly getting prepared to be a wife because I had already known my entire life that that was such a strong desire of mine is to have a family, have a husband, have kids, all this stuff. And so I was. Spending a lot of that time studying the women in the Bible, studying what motherhood means, what uh, what marriage means and the meaning of marriage and really what it means to be a good wife. And I would get a lot of advice and take a lot of advice from people that I admired and people I looked up to and listened to like a lot of podcasts, a lot of videos of just people who I know have had successful marriages and then like gotten advice from them. And so honestly, in my time of singleness, I wasn't focused on finding a man. I wasn't focused on looking for somebody and trying to date and stuff. I was really focused on, okay, I know someday I'm going to be in a relationship with somebody and I know someday I'm going to be able to be a wife. And so instead of spending my time trying to find the person, I'm going to spend my time trying to become the person that I want to be for them to marry. And so that was my advice to you is just to really focus on becoming a future husband, wife, whoever you are watching this just to become that that person who who you would want to marry, you know? And that's that would be my biggest advice, is to just not focus on the aspect of finding someone. Because, you know, if that's a desire of your heart, and it's a holy desire, a pure desire, I fully believe that God will bring, bring that for you. I had so many seasons of my life where I did not think I was going to get married, and I thought I was going to be single forever, but it wasn't until after I kind of let go of that, let go of me feeling like I wanted to plan my life, and actually surrendered that to God and then literally that was like the summer that I met my husband and so it was just, it was crazy but surrender control of your, what you think your plan for your life is going to look like surrender your need to feel like you need to be dependent on another person and just focus on yourself and focus on God and your relationship with God and growing into that kind of person that you want to someday marry okay y'all now I am just going in with this small fluffy brush and I love to use my bronzer as an eyeshadow honestly so what I'll do is like you see here I'm just going and putting it in the crease of my eyelid I love this because it does make it so much more natural like it looks like it could just be the shadows in my eyes I love that look so much and it's very warm I'm telling y'all this is my favorite bronzer ever I literally use it every single day for bronzer and then for eyeshadow and I think it just gives such a pretty look and it's just a very natural look and that's what i really love it's like natural like but not being like 
nothing, you know? Like, it's still kind of, like, mm, bronzy, but not, like, too dramatic. It's like a great everyday look. This is very much my everyday look. That's all. That's all I'll say. And also, while I do these, I usually, like, will do this and I will blend it up to the top because I really do not like when there are, like, crease lines. I know that some people love that. Just not my thing. So I'll just, like, blend it in. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this Tarte palette. This is the Tartiste Pro. I think that's how you say it. Um, and it's very, very pretty colors. As you can see, which one is my favorite is that orange one and so I'm just gonna use a tiny bit what I'll usually do is like do this and then just tap a ton of the excess off because I do not like super dark or bright colors so I'll just tap the excess off so it's just a tiny little tint of that orange color okay and then the next question I will answer while I do this is do you want any more tattoos that is an interesting question if you guys don't know I have two tattoos I have this one right here that is these flowers that my bestie Dustin did for me and then this is one of a cross and I absolutely love both of them. Do I want to get any more? As of right now, no. As of right now, it is not a huge desire of mine to get more tattoos. I don't regret the ones I got and at all. I love the ones that I've gotten. Um, I just don't think I have any like in mind that like I've been thinking about getting because the ones that I have right now are ones that I had really wanted for a long time. And so now that I have those ones, I don't really know what else I would get, to be honest. So short answer, not right now. <laughs> but long answer, maybe sometime in the future, I would love to get more if the Lord, like, gives me really important things that I feel like I want to represent on my body. But other than that, no, I love the ones I've gotten and I don't feel the need right now to get any more. Okay, as you can see, these are very, it's very warm. It's very much orangey. I love warm looks especially on my face i have very olive skin tone like it's not red it's not yellow it's just very olivey skin tone so i love the orange on my face so that is all for the color and now what i love to do is i love to take a color like this this is just a random urban decay palette but um i love to take a color like that white one right there and i will blend that into my eyebrow bone i guess you would say and this blends it in and makes it look a lot more natural. So it makes it more light. It just blends in that color that I just put on. And it kind of makes my eyebrow bone stick out a little bit more. I hope this is making sense, y'all. I'm not a beauty guru, but y'all wanted to see a get ready with me makeup kind of video. So here we are. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty much all that I'm going to do for eyeshadow and stuff. The last thing I like to do, which I guess technically is eyeshadow too, but is another one of these Urban Decay palettes. I have like three of these that are all the same. They came in one pack together. But I love this color right here that is a very shimmery, bright, pinky color. It doesn't come off pink though. It's mostly just like glittery. Um, and I love to put that on the inside of my eye because it makes it pop a lot especially once i have mascara on it makes the whole entire eyeball just like pop out there i usually just use my finger for this part because i don't have a brush that's like good at like getting the product like stuck on the brush so it like sticks really well to my finger and then i will just also rub it right into my eyelid so in the corners of my eyes and then rub it onto my eyelid so that is the corner of my eyes and my eyeshadow and that is pretty much all that I'll do for like the base of my face if that makes sense okay a couple people asked did it hurt to get my nose pierced or I'm thinking of getting a nose piercing but I'm scared and y'all I got my nose pierced on my 18th birthday like I literally got it done on my 18th birthday because it is it was something that I wanted to do for a really long time and it did not hurt at all what they do is like they take like these like clamps and they like clamp your nose and they like put a needle through it and honestly what hurt more than the needle was like the actual clamps like they just like clamp your nose and that's what hurt more than the actual like piercing itself to me it didn't hurt like at all like my eyes watered because obviously like it's in your nose and like it kind of opens your tear ducts a little bit and like my eyes were watering but I didn't actually cry and it wasn't actually painful I was like so happy to get mine like I love my nose ring. I think it fits me and my face and my personality really well. And so I was just super excited to get one. So I say if you want one, get one. It is not, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that scary. And also like doesn't hurt at all. Like it never hurts. Like, I mean, it just feels like, you, it feels like an ear piercing. Like you get your ears pierced and then they heal and forever and ever they're like fine. <laughs> but yeah, I love my nose piercing. Okay, now I'm going in with this eyebrow brush thing. And then I am using this. This is a NYX tinted brow mascara. 
I love this because I don't really fill in my eyebrows. I just use this like lightly to go over them because I already have pretty dark eyebrows. I don't really want them any darker. I usually just do this so that they stay in place. I will lightly go over them like so and also just fill in any like weird bald spots there are in my eyebrows. This is like almost gone. It's like barely doing anything, but I feel like to me it's like making a difference. It's probably not actually doing anything, but to me it's it feels like I'm doing something. Okay, so the next question it says, do you have days where you hit your body and how do you get out of that funk? And absolutely, I definitely have days where I do not like my body and I just like cannot stand even looking in the mirror and it makes me very upset. But honestly, I think the best advice I could give, which might not be great advice, but it's just genuinely how I get out of days of funk like that is I just remember like this earth is like fading away. Like this is my body. Like this is my temple. Like this is what is the host of my spirit and my soul. This body isn't who I am. Like, who I am is my heart. Who I am is my soul, my spirit, my being. It's not my body. Like, I am not this body. You know, this is the body that God's given me. And so, obviously, like, I should take care of it because I want to take care of the one body that God's given me. But it's not, a, it's not like, a, such a big deal where it's like, oh, my gosh, I gained five pounds this week and so I hate my body all this stuff like life is so much more than than the scale or life is so much more than how much you think you weigh or if you should eat a cookie or not like life is just so much more than that and for me anytime I get in those days obviously I'm, I'm in a funk for a while like I'm not gonna lie to you right now there have been days and weeks where I've like been in this funk for like a very long period of time and if you guys know uh, in the past obviously I had an eating disorder so like that's been rough so like Coming out of that now, there are obviously days and weeks and like periods of time where I'm in this huge funk of just like hating my body, feeling insecure, feeling, feeling not confident, feeling ugly and not pretty all these things. And honestly, the best thing that gets me out of that is not someone else. It's not what someone else is going to say to me. It's not compliments. It's not things like that. It's like being in the word of God and like knowing the truth of who I am and like knowing the truth of my calling on this earth. And then from that, knowing like this is my vessel. Like, of course I need to take care of my temple. I need to take care of my body. But like, what am I, what am I to worry about? Like what I look like? Like, that's not what life is about. Life is not worrying about if you look a certain way from a certain angle or it's not about looking like fatter in one pair of pants or like skinnier in another pair of pants like it's not it's not about that it's just about like who are you what is the person that you are and really just like growing in your soul and your spirit and growing like closer to God because it says in the Bible that like the world is fading away and I do believe that working out and exercising and taking care of your body can actually become an idol. Obviously, I think it's great. I think it's great to take care of your body and work out and exercise and eat healthy, but it can be an idol and it can become an idol and where you're actually thinking about that and worshiping your own image more than you're worshiping God and more than you're in your Bible. And so I think you have to have a balance of that, first of all, and then also just knowing that like this world is fading away and like at the end of the day, at the end of the world, like at the end of your life, are you going to look back on your life and think about all the times where you looked great or you felt like you were pretty? Or are you gonna look at the times where like God used you and like you grew closer to God? Like, are you gonna be able to look at times like that? And so I hope that makes sense, but that's honestly for me, the most genuine way that I can explain how I get out of those funks. And so I really hope it helps somebody out there because for me, I felt like I asked that a lot and people would just be like, oh, just like know that you're loved and know that you're pretty. And like, that's great. But like also when you don't feel that way, it's hard to just like at the snap of a fingers feel like you're pretty. So just knowing that like, you're a child of God, and knowing, knowing your identity in Christ, and then from that knowing like, oh yeah, I need to take care of my body, but like, this is not the end of the world. Like, this is not like, my whole life isn't, isn't made for me to like, look a certain way. So, hopefully that makes sense. Just know who you are in the Bible, who God says that you are, and just take care of yourself, take care of your mind, your mental health as well, and go from there. Hopefully that all makes sense. <laughs> I forgot in the beginning, but I like to use chapstick. This is actually my husband's chapstick, don't tell him. Um, but I like to use chapstick because my lips get so chapped so quickly. So I always need that chapstick. So I don't even know. This is like my husband's chapstick and Nivea, don't ask. That's his chapstick. There y'all go. I'm telling y'all I don't do that much. So the last thing I have to do is mascara. The one I have been using lately has been this unlimited mascara from L'Oreal Paris. And y'all look at how crazy this is. So this is what the bottle looks like, right? And then 
it bends like isn't that so crazy what it is is so like when you're putting it on you can like bend this and like be able to get in like all the like places that are harder to get i mean it's pretty cool i don't ever use it like that but i think that's a like, pretty cool design but i use this one and then the one this is like the holy grail one that I, i've always used always swear by people ask what mascara do you use? How do you do your eyelashes? This is my answer every single time. It is the Scandal Eyes Retro Glam by Rimmel London. It is the black and white one. It is this one right here. And y'all, this is the best mascara. I literally think it's like $5. I'm not even kidding. This is the best mascara that I've ever used. And that's not even a joke. It has a huge brush. If y'all have never used this, let's see. It's very old. This is an old bottle. I just keep it so that I remember to get a new one. But it's a very, very big brush. Very long bristles and long story short it's just it's the best mascara ever trust me y'all need to buy it but unfortunately i am out of this one so i have been using this one until i use it up because i got this one for christmas and i actually really do like this one too so this one's very opposite it's a very small brush but it is still very good like i love learning new mascaras and learning like how i can like use it to the best of its ability this is like getting way deeper than i meant for it to be but I'm going to use this mascara today and I always, always, always curl my eyelashes. Don't do this. Don't try this at home unless like you're crazy like me, but I always use a lighter. <laughs> this is going to sound so scary, but I always use a lighter and this is what I do. I light the lighter and then I will heat up the eyelash curler a little bit and then obviously like wait for it to cool down. I like test it on my ring finger, make sure it's cooled down and then I will curl my eyelashes. I know a lot of people use a blow dryer for this and that's honestly probably a lot safer than what I'm doing, but this is what works best for me because I don't like wanna get out a blow dryer every single time, so I just keep this in my makeup thing and then I'll just like light it and then usually I'll just like wave it to cool down and then curl it. Cause like, if you guys don't understand what I'm saying, it's like when you curl your hair, it's hot. So like it's curling it and it's staying because it was that heat. It's so like for your eyelashes, if you can heat up the curler, curl your eyelashes and like they're way more likely to like stay up. Does that make sense? It makes so much sense to me. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying, but I always do this. I, I might be weird, but oh well. And then lastly, if you guys have seen in my old uh, Get Ready With Me video, I always use these. These are like the little scissors that are normally for like your eyebrows or just little hairs and stuff. But I actually use them Y'all are going to think I'm so weird. I use them to separate my eyelashes. Um, I'm very OCD, especially by my eyelashes. And when, like, two of them are clumped, I cannot stand it. And so, like, I have to, like, go through and, like, unclump every single one of them with these tiny pair of scissors. That's why the top of them are so black. But, anyways, you guys ask me how I do my mascara and why my eyelashes are so long. That is my process. So, I'm going to be... I'm being honest with y'all, okay? Don't make fun of me because of how I do my eyelashes, okay? That is just genuinely how I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead, do this really quick, and then off camera because it is so hard to do on camera. I'm gonna go ahead and do both of my eyelashes, get those done, and then I'll be right back with you guys and we will answer a couple more questions before I close this video off. So, all right, my eyelashes are gonna be done in three, two, one. Ta-da! The mascara is complete. It took me a while because I just kept messing up and also I had like a couple people call me. So it took a while, but the mascara is done. It is my favorite part of the makeup is the mascara because to me, I feel like it makes the biggest difference on my face. So the mascara is complete. And now I'm going to answer a couple more questions. And I also, I'm going to do one more step. I'm going to apply some lipstick. I know it's kind of crazy because it's like COVID and masks and everything, but I just figured it'd be fun to use some lipstick for this video. So I'm gonna be using the Kylie Jenner uh, Liquid Velvet Lipstick, or Velvet Liquid Lipstick. And I, like I said in my last video, I have no idea what shade this is, but if y'all know, here it is. It's a very natural, very nude lip color. I think it would go really well with the colors that I did on my eyes and stuff. And I'm gonna answer a couple more questions while I do that. So someone says, do you believe in the Enneagram and why? And that is a great question. I think every time I post about the Enneagram on my Instagram or anywhere, I definitely get a ton of hate about it. And for me, obviously, like I don't live by the Enneagram. Like I'm not my identity is not attached to the Enneagram. I think the Enneagram is a great way to explore your personality types, maybe. I mean, all of us have qualities of every single trait, I believe, but there are certain 
numbers where it's like you kind of can resonate more with it. I think it's really fun. I think it's cool to get to know other people that way, to know pipe people's personality types right off the bat by knowing like which Enneagram type they are. I was super into them for a while. I studied all of them. Like I could probably tell you everything about every single one of the Enneagrams. But um, yeah, I love them. I just think like obviously I'm not going to worship them. They're not like my, that's not where my identity is tied. I just think they're really fun. I think they're cool to see like personality types and stuff. I like personality tests personally because you can see what strengths you have, what things that you can grow in, and just how to um, handle conflict and things like that. But of course, it's not my sole place of identity. My identity is rooted in the Bible and rooted in God, and so that's like not my identity. But I do think it's, it can be fun. It can be fun. Um, just being careful with how you're using it, obviously. All right, now for this lipstick, y'all. I love this so much. So... I always do it though. I don't know why I'm trying to talk while I'm doing this, but I'm doing this so far away from my mirror right now. Like my mirror is behind the camera. So give me grace because I'm doing this very kind of blindly right now from very far away. Okay, so that is my lipstick. I love this color. Again, I think it goes really well with like the very natural color on my eyes. I always, always, always do the same color on my eyes and lips and everything just because I think that's what suits me and my personality the best. I love warm tones and I think it just like makes everything pop more. Like my eyes are very green so like earthy tones just work better with me. I have olive type skin so I just like them a lot. Obviously like even my bra is orange but I love it. Okay I'm gonna answer a couple more questions and then I'm gonna wrap it up because this has been a very long video already uh, but it's been really fun so I'm just gonna answer a couple more. So let's see um why did you switch to the NLT? That's a great question. So if you guys saw my last video you saw that I got a new Bible recently and it is the NLT version. I don't believe I've ever had an NLT. The one I had read forever had been the ESV and then after that lately I've been reading or before the NLT I was reading the NASB the New American Standard Bible and now I'm reading the New Living Translation translation because I wanted to kind of have another perspective, another interpretation, another translation because I like seeing the different kinds. And so I still, when I'm using my NLT, I'll usually cross reference a couple of things because I love to see the different translations. But the NLT for me is something that's very easy to understand. It's, it's written very smoothly. It's written in a sense of like great passion and I love just the way that it's written. So that's that's my short answer. <laughs> what is your favorite book in the Bible? Oh, that's so hard. I love like the whole Bible. I love the Psalms. Of course, I love the Psalms. I feel like anyone, like especially for me, I, I love writing songs. I would consider myself partially a songwriter and I think like the Psalms gives great lyrics. Like that's just the, the Bible's just handing you lyrics. I think the Psalms is amazing for praises and stuff. I love James. I've been going through James like non-stop lately. Like I've been going in and out of it a ton. I love James. I love First John. I love, I love Revelation. Honestly, if I could only choose one book that would be my favorite, I probably would choose Revelation. I love the book of Revelation. It makes me feel the closest to God. And anytime that I'm leading worship or anytime I am in a place of um, anytime I'm just in worship in general, worshiping God, I always picture myself in the throne room of God. And I think Revelation 4 and 5 are, or oh, 4 through 7 really are like the most impactful like chapters in the Bible to me and to my life. So I love Revelation. Okay, y'all, the last step is to spray the makeup with some setting spray, of course. Like I used it for the priming, and now I'm going to use it to set it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and probably, I don't know how many, how many does this suggest? It says... Oh, it just says missed entire face before and after applying makeup. So cool. I'm just gonna do maybe like five. Okay, I did eight, but that's basically felt the most like covered. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed joining me, getting ready today, doing my makeup and everything. I loved doing this because I just love feeling like we're hanging out. It's the best feeling ever. If you guys have any questions about the products that I'm using or anything, feel free to leave in the description or the comment box below. I'd love to get back to you guys. And if you guys have any more Q&A questions, leave them down below. Maybe I can do a part two to this video. But I love you guys so, so, so much. Tonight or tomorrow, I will be filming a James like the whole book of James Bible study and I'll be going over the entire book of James with you guys and so I'm really excited so stay tuned for that that'll be coming out at the end of this week but I love you all so so much more than you'll ever know and it means so much that you guys came and hang out with me today so love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video peace out guys